Hello everyone, and it's me, Ricky, again, and I'm back with a new episode. There won't be too much editing on this, but, um, I just wanted to let you know right now, this is my mega team. All of them are megas that came out of the new Ruby and Sapphire, except for Ludicolo, which is, happens to be what I'm starting off with, just because Ludicolo is so great, he has to be in the team anyway. But this one isn't going to have too much editing in it. Well, it might. You know what? I... Ah, oh, screw it. I'm just going to try my best on this like I always do. But, um, I'm going to be doing some uh, sneak preview videos of upcoming projects I'm doing. So that's why I'm trying to do, do a lot of effort tonight in some other videos. So Ludicolo, he starts off with a fake out. I did not, did not even tell him to do that. And he was like, yeah, I know you're going to click it, Ricky. I know you are. So I go into Anchor Arms, and guess what? You know that Mega Swampert? This is not my Mega Swampert. Of course, okay, all these Pokemon, except for Ludicolo, are we holding a mega, their Mega Stone. Just depends who I want to pull out. So, Anchor Arms is out there, just screwing everything up. And I didn't put any defense investment on this guy. He's all attack, and he easily could have killed Anchor Arms with um, any attack, really. Not any, but uh, obviously, since he couldn't kill him there. But, yeah, surprisingly not. And I doubt his... Um, he had Solar Beam on his Charizard because he didn't use it. So, uh, there's uh, the Greninja. Sharpedo's there. And I sw I thought he was going to have uh, Protein. So, I went on my Protect to see what type he wanted to try and kill his Sharpedo with. And he had a Hidden Power. And I'm confused. I was like, that must be Hidden Power Fighting or Hidden Power Fairy or something. And when I checked his Sprite... He, it said he didn't transform. So, if his typing didn't change or anything, this guy had Torrent. Is, isn't that the other ability that Greninja can only have? So, I was confused, and that's apparently what he had. So, I go into the little punny and fake out, and Lop Lopunny did it. And this isn't the... This... Uh, I love Mega Low Punny, but you ain't gonna see Mega Low Punny today. But you will see a Fire Punch, and you will see a Low Punny kick the ass of a Greninja and a Venusaur. And that, that is just sheer amazement. Charizard comes in. I take out that Low Punny, because I know I can use Low Punny. And I go into my uh, slow bro, and he uses Flare Blitz. Um, we still don't know if he had that Solar Beam. So Dragonite comes in, takes a uh, quarter from... Uh, not, ugh. Quarter. He takes uh, some portions from the, actually would be a quarter, uh, from the stealth rocks, and then he tries to hit Slowbro with a thunder, but then he goes with a Dragon Rush afterwards, I guess not wanting to miss, but we're in the rain now, um, he still uses Dragon Rush, and then Slowbro goes down after par par paralyzing him, and then raining him, and then now Ludicolo has Ice Beam, plus he's in the rain, so he can get that rain dish uh, residual health, but I found this as a good time to go into my little punny to do some fire pun uh, punches. And I didn't know what Doom Desire did at first. I did not. I have no idea. So I went with the fake out and I was going on Bulbapedia to find out what it does. And in this turn, I found out. So I'm like, you know what? Little punny, just do your fire punches. Take some good damage. And little punny. Little punny did it. Little punny did some work in this. I'm just gonna say that. So I go with my Beedrill. And I go straight to Mega Beedrill. Yes, this is my Mega Form. And Drill Run. What else do I do? Drill Run the Jirachi. And that's what's going to happen there. But I went to Lopunny on the uh, Jirachi because Lopunny has Limber. So if Jirachi wanted to paraflinch uh, me, it, she, uh, Jirachi couldn't. So I go into Ludicolo to do the Surf and also take whatever um, uh, Doom Desire that uh, damage. And Doom Desire didn't even do that much to Ludicolo, so Ludicolo was just a freaking boss. And so, Giga Drain on that, just to get some health, then do some damage, and Moonblast kills the Ludicolo, which is alright. Because now, I got my Poison Bug type, Beedrill, who's about to drill a freaking hole into Sylveon's asshole, which was a, oh, not Horn Drill, freaking Poison Jab. And, I'm just gonna say, the stats of some of these new Megas are ridiculous. Like, um, I'm going to start off with Beedrill. I believe he starts off with um, 90 attack. And then he goes to 150 attack. And his uh, speed goes from 75 to 145. 
Now, the reason that why his stat uh, boost is bigger than 100 all round is because they deduced, uh, like, um, took away from his special attack and put it into his attack and uh, speed or whatever. So, Beedrill, he's still pretty frail. But his attack and speed are just marvelous. Just, if you could get a, like, bypass people's priority, if you could go to a Pokemon and they have no priority moves, Beedrill can put in some work, especially if you had a Baton Pass on it. Um, other than that, guys, I had a good time battling, and I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned soon. I'm going to be having some more videos. So have a good night. Good morning. See ya.